even functions and odd functions. A function, y equals f of x is an even function of x if f of negative x equals f of x. Or it is an odd function of x if f of negative x equals negative of f of x for every x in the function's domain. If the function doesn't satisfy either of the above properties, then it is neither an even function nor an odd function. The names even and odd come from powers of x. If y is an even power of x, as in y equals x square and y equals x raised to the power 4, it is an even function of x because square of negative x equals x square and negative x raised to the power 4 equals x raised to the power 4. If y is an odd power of x, as in y equals x and y equals x cube, it is an odd function of x because the first power of negative x equals negative of x and cube of negative x equals negative of x cube. The graph of an even function is symmetric about the y-axis. This is because, in case of an even function, the value of y is same for x and negative x. The graph of an even function does not change if we reflect it across y-axis. The graph of an odd function is symmetric about the origin. This is because the value of y at negative x is the negative of the value of y at x. The graph of an odd function does not change if we rotate it by 180 degrees about the origin. Let's rotate the graph by 180 degrees clockwise. Now let's rotate the graph by 180 degrees anti-clockwise. Clearly, the graph remains unchanged in both the cases. Consider the function f of x equals x squared plus 1. Let's see whether the given function is even, odd, or neither. To check whether the given function is odd or even, first we need to determine f of negative x. For that, we will substitute negative x in place of x in f of x. Doing this we get f of negative x equals square of negative x plus 1 square of negative x equals x square. Therefore, f of negative x equals x square plus 1, which equals f of x. Since f of negative x equals f of x, the given function is even. It can be seen that the graph of this function is symmetric about the y-axis. Now consider the function f of x equals x plus 1. Pause this video and try to figure out whether the given function is even, odd, or neither. As discussed earlier, first we need to determine f of negative x, which in this case equals negative x plus 1. Now, negative of f of x equals negative of x plus 1, which equals negative x minus 1. Clearly, f of negative x neither equals f of x, nor it equals negative of f of x. Therefore, the given function is neither even nor odd. It can be seen that the graph of this function is neither symmetric about the y-axis nor it is symmetric about the origin. Now consider the function f of x equals x cubed plus x. Again, pause this video and try to figure out whether the given function is even, odd, or neither. Let's determine f of negative x it equals cube of negative x plus negative x. Cube of negative x equals negative x cube. So, f of negative x equals negative x cubed minus x. We can factor out the negative sign. Doing this we get f of negative x equals negative of x cubed plus x, which equals negative of f of x. Since f of negative x equals negative of f of x, the given function is odd. It can be seen that the graph of this function is symmetric about the origin. Now consider the function f of x equals 0. Again, pause this video and try to figure out whether the given function is even, odd, or neither. Since f of x is a constant function, therefore, f of negative x also equals 0. Since f of x equals 0, negative of f of x also equals 0. 
therefore, f of negative x equals f of x, as well as negative of f of x. So, the given function is even, as well as odd. The graph of this function lies along the x-axis, and is symmetric about the origin, as well as the y-axis. In fact, f of x equals 0 is the only real function that is both an even function and an odd function.